guys, it was inevitable that I would end up back on Fry's team. Just as inevitable as the fact that we will find aliens. Ooh! This Splatfest is centered around what we believe exists out there. Nessie? Aliens? Or Bigfoot? It'll be happening from 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, March 31st through 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, April 2nd. Daylight saving time, be darned. I like when the fest started at 7 o'clock, but it's whatever. I also get to be on the purple team again. Woo! But I promise that's not the only reason I picked this team. Listen. There are a lot of names for aliens out there, but one of them really sticks out. The Greys, a being above colors. No need for them at all. Turf War would probably have no value to them. Horrible. Inkling and Octoling society could possibly fall apart just imagining such a creature. So that means what we have to do is share our knowledge of these aliens to our peers on Team Nessie and Team Bigfoot to scare everyone to be on our team. Who knew that Halloween would be coming in March? Also, could you imagine the kind of weapons tech that aliens might have? How much more awesome the average turf war would be if Sheldon had alien technology to tinker with? I think we need to win this Splatfest for Sheldon and for the future of our own Splatoon 3 updates. Maybe this is what we need to make the janitor bucket slosher real. You can't tell me that if a human today was walking around and saw an inkling, they wouldn't be mistaken for an alien. Kind of like this. Guys, I've been following these large footsteps for what feels like days. My rations have gotten terribly low. But I think I've finally made a discovery that will change our lives forever. Just in the grass over there is a real life alien. Look at its colors. I wonder what kind of colors it sees. We just have to approach carefully and- Oh, um, looks like the footage ran out. Hope she's okay. You gotta admit, I think the team Nessie and team Bigfoot have it a little too easy. All they've got to do is find one guy. The idea of team aliens, plural, might mean we need to find more than one alien or even more than one type of alien. Nothing's been really told to us. Good thing space is infinite. <laughs> Between the three, let's be real. If you found an alien, you would be going down in basically like every book ever. Every scientist book would be like, hey, can I talk to you about you finding an alien? And you'll be like, oh, yes, yes you can. I will tell you about my alien finding story for the next three minutes or maybe even five minutes. And they'll be swooning, absolutely losing their minds as you tell your story. Could the same be said about Bigfoot or Nessie? M maybe, 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 shh. You gotta agree something is hiding underneath Inkopolis Tower, right? It's up to us to go and find out what that is. If we all run really fast, I don't think Judd and his army of followers will be able to stop us. But there's only one way to find out. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to increase our chances of successfully raiding the Inkopolis Tower. Thank you for watching.